This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location at Metro Connect 2019 in beautiful Miami, Florida. And I'm here with Mr. Chris Bach, just like the composer as I was as I was told. Chris is the CFO of Bluebird Network LLC. Chris, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. You bet, you bet. So Chris, I'm just going to jump right into the like meat and potatoes of this interview. Um, m and I know that there's big things happening on the m and front with, uh, with you and uh, with Bluebird. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Sure. So Bluebird is super excited to announce that uh, Macquarie is going to acquire Bluebird and it's going to provide an opportunity for us to expand in the Midwest and deepen our roots in our Missouri and Illinois markets. At the same time, Macquarie is actually purchasing a legacy PEG network in Illinois. And so we're going to integrate those assets in between Missouri and Illinois and provide our customers a greater opportunity to get connectivity throughout Missouri and Illinois. I love that. I love that. Um, so, and I'm a Midwesterner myself from um, Northwest Indiana. I'm so Fantastic. glad. I'm so glad to be in Miami right now and not <laughs> in Northwest Indiana. But let's talk about the Macquarie infrastructure plan um, to work with the, the Bluebird team and to grow uh, the the platform. There's a short-term and a long-term plan. Can you talk to our viewers a little bit about that? Sure, the short-term plan is obviously deep in our roots in our current markets. Uh, so with that, we'll start with those Illinois assets that we're going to integrate in at closing and bring those customers into the super high value customer service that we bring as a Bluebird network to our customers. And then our communications infrastructure, we're going to deepen our roots in our tier two, tier three, tier four markets. And we already have the engineering planned and are about to kick off significant expansion in our fiber footprint today. And then the third plan is obviously a little bit more long term, is looking about acquisition opportunities within the Midwest. So right now we're based in Missouri and Illinois. We're going to look at the states around Missouri and Illinois and even one state further, but stay in that Midwest area so we get the value of what we're bringing as a company and with our Midwestern values and our customer service to our customers. Chris, you're providing segues better for me than I could possibly provide myself. But let's talk about the, that investment. There's an investment in um, and networks and in, in, um, in adjacent networks and adjacent markets. Why don't you tell our, our viewers a little bit about that? So really, we're looking at uh, providing more fiber opportunities in those cities. So our prime customer is really a gem customer, a government enterprise uh, and medical. Uh -huh. And so those government medical and, and banking, you know, they're really looking for high connectivity, high customer service, and opportunities really for them to do better at their jobs and always count on us to do ours. And so we have testimonies, in fact, on our blog talking about our communications infrastructure Structure from companies that are doing fantastic things because of what we have brought them in connectivity. And so we're looking to deepen that relationship in many cities um, within Missouri and now uh, beginning with Illinois as well with the new future assets that we're acquiring at closing. I love it. So you're, you're solving problems, right? I mean, you're, you're, you're solving um, problems for businesses and with, you know, within the communities. Why don't you talk to our viewers a little bit about some of those, some of those problems that you solve and how you're helping those enterprises in those communities? Yeah, so that's a fantastic point. So one of the biggest things that we're able to do is too, is the medical community. We're able to connect those urban hospitals that have large specialist doctors with also the rural hospitals and rural medical facilities that have an opportunity to really bring higher level services to those other communities that don't currently have that in their capacity today. And they do that via connectivity. So we're providing a private network to them with high capacity um, to provide x-rays or images and get those to specialists that really know what they're talking about and then can convey that to their patients and the doctors in those communities. So it's really an opportunity for them that, to live That's a better cool. life yeah, yeah. and hopefully we're saving lives at the same time just by us providing connectivity to them. I love this. I, I, I absolutely love that Chris. But um, and you know, primarily I mean you're operating in, in rural markets as well and you're, you're bringing services to those rural markets, right? That's definitely true. So our mantra really has been that we're providing an urban service in rural markets. So we're bringing urban to rural, as well as we serve urban markets as well. But our focus is really on the rural and, and middle uh, city area. And so 
but we're also in schools. So one of yeah. our, in Missouri, we are the second largest provider to schools in Missouri, and so we have a great opportunity for kids to learn via connectivity. So some of those rural schools also don't have the specialists in a, in a physics area or anatomy or different things. And so now they can video conference to larger schools or do a conglomerate regional opportunity, and we're providing those opportunities and trying to show the customers there are opportunities to get funding to do these things, mm -hmm. and then we can bring those services and connectivity to those communities. It's a great opportunity for the customer and a great opportunity for Bluebird. And that is the definition of an impact. Uh, That's so right. Congratulations, Chris. That's it's really great stuff. So shifting gears just a little bit. Um, a unique underground data center in Missouri? Tell our viewers about that. So it's a fantastic facility, and every person that's come into our facility goes, wow, I've been in the big data centers, but yours is the coolest. <laughs> Literally, right? I take cool over big any day of the week. That's awesome. <laughs> so it's underground. You drive underground to it, and so it's you're protected from any natural issues such as tornadoes or winds or lightning or anything else. All our infrastructure is underground, so our customers in our underground data facility have an opportunity to really be protected and so what you're wanting in a data center is privacy protection and we have many levels of security and protection yeah. and many levels of pr protection against man-made or natural made issues mm -hmm. and so it's a great facility we're growing it uh, we're looking to grow even further and uh, it's an opportunity for our broadband customers to connect into the data center it's an opportunity for our data centers that we can provide connectivity out of the data centers all throughout Missouri and Illinois and even expanding into the Midwest. And that in and of itself is very cool, Chris. So thank you very much. So um, in closing, what can our viewers expect to see from, from Bluebird? Obviously the M&A is big, um, but what's next for you? So I think the big thing next is integrate, dig deep, but I think you're going to see a lot of us throughout the Midwest. And we're going to be talking to people and talking to customers. And people are excited about Bluebird. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants a high quality service product. And when you give that, you know, we're not about PR campaigns. We're about delivering services to our customers on a daily basis, grinding it out, because that's what customers need every day. They need connectivity, and we're going to give it to them. We have the best technicians, the best employees, and the Bluebird network employees are fantastic to work with and we're looking to project that not just to our company and in Missouri and Illinois but to start to move that into other states through our acquisitions. Chris I like your style good luck to you man I uh, really uh, really appreciate it thanks for being with us today. I appreciate it. You bet you bet and thank you viewers for watching JSA TV we'll see you soon.